In this movie, we're going to show how in Route's pyramid tool works. The pyramid tool will help to create a prismatic or a pyramid looking type letter. You are going to see a little bit of a rounded area as the bits are spinning around, but, but these tools will produce a nice sharp, sharp top and a nice beveled edge that extends to the perimeter of the letter or shapes being cut. This is accomplished via primarily a 2D tool path and a tool with a large bevel or, or any type of bevel to the edge of it. And in some cases, multiple passes would be needed to reach the, the complete distance. So the pyramid tool starts off by first having an object on screen that you want to create a pyramid tool path for. And we're going to come here, do this in inches, set the material size to 15 by 15 by one inch thick. And the thickness of the material it's going to play a role in the tool pathing for this type of an object. So let's come in here and let's take a nice uh, font for doing this type of, of letter. And we're going to use Bookman Old Style. We'll, we'll use the letter R here. And that'll give us some nice edges and serifs. It'll, it'll produce a nice peak. Now we'll come in and actually maybe we'll go just a little bit bigger on this. And we might end up resizing this at some point anyways. Before I go to the toolpath, I'm going to convert this to curves or outlines so it shows up as blue and red now on screen. Now I'm going to select the object that I want to apply the pyramid toolpath to and come over here and I can go to the pyramid toolbar button or go to toolbar and select the pyramid tool. And this brings up the standard toolpath dialog box and from the list of available tools, I'm going to scroll down to my conic tools. Here I have a 60 degree conic. 120 degree conic and a 90 degree v-bit tool. When I select the tool, the program is going to automatically calculate what the height would be if, if we create a true pyramid shape here using this specific angle. So if I click a 60 degree conic tool, my material thickness for me to cut this size shape with this tool would need to be 1.93 inches. So obviously I would not be able to do that in this case. I would have to go to a smaller part or, or use a different size tool or get a thicker material. So there is some limitations that can, what can be accomplished based upon the, the minimum height you're going to get from any given angle and the width of part of the, of the object that you're tool packing. So let's go here and clear this tool out and let's see what a 90 degree conic tool will do. So a 90 degree conic tool with this size letter would give me a 1.13 inch part. So I could easily get one and a half inch material here, um, but if I, I want to, I can also choose now the 120 degree conic tool. And this tool is actually going to easily fit inside my one inch material. So if I have a 120 degree conic tool and one inch material, then, then this is how I'm going to proceed. Now within the pyramid strategy, you're going to have multiple tool paths or multiple tools selected. The next tool will be a tool to rough away any unnecessary area. If multiple passes are used, you're going to be moving both down and outwards in each pass. And there's a, a time when you could have some leftover material that would impede the movement of the, of the bit. So this process will actually allow the bit to move freely. And you might typically use a larger conic tool here or, or an end mill. So I'm going to choose a 3 8 inch end mill here. And the final tool would be for any vertical return uh, on the vertical sides of the letter. As the letter exists now, um, I, I don't have any vertical return, but if I, if I want to come and say I'm going to cut this out with maybe a, a quarter inch end mill. Now, now I have to decide how much material is going to be on the side of the tool. If I, if I move it to bottom of plate, then the, any excess material that is, is more than the thickness of the, of the actual part being cut would be moved to the surface. And then route would automatically come here then and tell, and tell the tool to start that amount below the surface before it starts to cut. As I include a higher vertical return, and you can see it moving here as well, if I have a 0.2 inch vertical return, then a, then a little bit less distance will be how much we start below the surface, taking into account this extra vertical return. And then finally, you know, uh, I can have up to a maximum now if I'm exceeding the thickness of the material, this box becomes unchecked. If I recheck it, this will tell me the exact thickness I would need to use one inch of material. If I have a 0.6581 cut depth, 
to give me the beveled edge of the letter and a 0 0.3419 inch vertical return, it would exactly cut in this material. From reality, I probably want more of like a 0 0.27 vertical return, maybe a little bit of a distance to do an inlay and then and then a quarter inch return. And the excess material then will be will be shaved off the top of the part. All right, so uh, here we have everything. And, and the next thing I'd want to do now is make sure I'm cutting the uh, I'm cutting the rough pass first, the pyramid second, and the offset third. And now we can hit apply here. We can see some tool paths have been applied. By the way, there is a section here in the help menu where if you type in pyramid. Uh, this will show you a little bit about some of the terminology here, the surface depth, the cut depth, and the return height. So uh, if, uh, if you'd like to read a little bit more about this, uh, you can come in here and, and read in the pyramid tool path in the, in the manual, and that will explain that, or, or in the help menu. All right, so now let's take a look at this, and we're going to come here and, and do a 3D rendered view of our tool path. I'll right-click these to take them back to my... My default view. And actually, I'm going to come here this time and say use tool color rather than these two colors. And we'll hit OK. Now, one more thing here is in order for, here's the lower left hand corner of my plate. So I'm going to arrange this a little bit so we can see it. In order for me to follow the order I set in the strategy, strategy has to be the top priority here. If tool order is the top priority, then I would want to set my tool order to be. The way I would follow, but if I set priority, that strategy is the top priority, then it's going to follow that that order I set in the strategy. So next, we're going to highlight the material here, and we'll tell it to go to the first tool lift. So we can see we just did a 2D pocket, another two tool lift. All right, and this is just going to be clearing out material, and you can see it creates a step pattern here to to do kind of a step pyramid of of material extra material removal now the bevel tool is just going to go around in a 2d manner and it's going to create the beveled edge of this letter and i did that in two passes and now we have the cutout of the letter the final cutout so here's an example of how to do a pyramid letter within route um, there are some times if you're using an insert tool where they will tell you it's a it's 120 degrees, and maybe it's 119, or maybe it's 121. You might have to do a series of test cuts of, of a particular angle in two passes to get a really good idea of, of that. And in and, and one case, I have an example. We had a customer who had a 150-degree bit that, that had to be defined as 146.5 to be able to accurately cut in multiple passes. So that's something to keep in mind that it, it's not always a perfect uh, angle when you're using particularly insert tooling. And in most cases, you want to actually design an, uh, use an insert tool as a 0.02 tip diameter. A 0.02 tip diameter would be a taper tool, and that extra amount of, of diameter that exists needs to be taken into account to get a smooth edge. So, so you might want to check with your tooling manufacturer when you're, when you're going to use a particular bevel tool or, or conic tool to produce this type of a letter. One last thing is if you go to the en route folder, we hit done here, and you go to en route 51, go down to the tutorials section. There is a rapid, there is a uh, pyramid letter instruction tutorial. So that's one more thing to point out here. So this has been a review of the pyramid tool. And here's one last preview of how it looks.